What is up, my dudes? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jesse, and just in case you happen to be new here, I go hunting for Hot Wheels every single day, and then I crack them open right here on Daily Diecast. Now, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Imperial Diecast. That channel is awesome. He typically reviews larger scale diecasts like 124s, 118, and the occasional 143. But uh, on his last video, he made a really subtle reference to my channel, and it really stoked me out. I thought it was super cool. Go over there and check out that video and check out his channel in general if you're into larger scale diecast. He gets into really super detailed reviews. All right, now on to today's video. I am amped. I am beyond amped because I found something on eBay that just does not come up very often, and I didn't even care what the price was. I just bought it. I don't even remember what I paid for. I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks, which in my opinion is a steal. This does not, it just doesn't come up very often. Here, let's take a look. It is the Silver Anniversary, 25th Anniversary Collector's Edition. Uh, oh, here we go. Exotic Car 5 Pack. I mean, just check out that old school packaging. Look at how cool that is. I mean, look at the, look at this array of cars. Look at that exclusive Countach. I've literally never seen that anywhere else until this five pack. It's so awesome. Let's look at the back of the packaging real quick too because I am going to crack this open. And uh, I don't keep packaging typically, but this one is so awesome. Like I might have to make an exception or maybe I'll just try to find another one, keep it mint. Well, you know, keep it, you know, sealed. It's, I wouldn't call this mint, but you know, <laughs> as mint as it's gonna be for how old it is. I mean, this is just so cool. See, I mean, it's not really mint, but... Let's see, 1993, which makes sense, because that would have been their 25th anniversary. But yeah, so this is just amazing. I am super amped. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's crack these cars open, and let's check them out. I, oh my gosh. It, you know me, I don't keep things carded. I'm a loose car collector, but I feel a little guilty cracking this open. Yeah, because I'm not able to salvage the packaging. <laughs> it's basically falling apart, but it's all good. All right, so the box is now open. The cars are freed. Wow, and look what they, what, I gotta show you this real quick. Look what they came in back in the day. Like this is a much more durable plastic than what I'm used to for the, the modern five packs. But anyway, let's go top to bottom, because that's, uh, that's the order I like to do them in. <laughs> and my favorite car happens to be last anyway. Oh, so it does have some packaging wear. That's kind of a bummer. I will polish that out. But it is the 25th anniversary Jaguar XJ220. I was expecting package wear, so it didn't take me by surprise. It's all good. Very little information on these old cars. It does have the ultra hot wheels. I love that it has the 25th anniversary tempo. I mean, that's actually a little bit worse than I thought it was gonna be. That almost looks like mold. <laughs> I honestly don't care. I'm gonna clean all these cars up. Uh, but I also did notice that that looks like a chip. Oh yeah, and some wear right there on the wheel. Yeah, see, like uh, you just gotta take your cars out of the packages. You know, there's not really any reason to keep them keep them in there like that. All right, next one up. Diablo. Awesome. Now this one is not nearly as messed up as the first one. But you know, again, not to go back to this one, but those kinds of finishes, I mean, they 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 just get like that over time. There's not much you can do about it. Okay, so let's go back to this one. Beautiful black enamel paint, red interior, which is clearly visible because these windows are nice and crispy clear. This old school casting does have side view mirrors. I like that so much. Got the red Diablo tampo. Metal base. Oh, yep. And these old school ones go this way. But very little information on these old cars, or at least at this, uh, you know, during this, this era. This wing and back are plastic. The rest is metal. It's really hard to film black cars, but I do love them. Awesome, 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 super amped. This is a very cool one right here also. 
This is only the second Ferrari in my entire collection, and it's the, the same casting pretty much. Oh man, that is such a bummer. A lot of package wear on this one. Oh well, gives a character. Got a nice blue interior, the F40 Tempo. Also got Ultra Hots. I mean, do they all? Oh yeah, they all have Ultra Hots. I'm just now noticing. And you know, this casting has the opening engine compartment. That yellow paint, just so bright and vibrant. I'm gonna try my best to clean that up. It almost looks like, I don't know if that's a chip or, oh no, it's definitely a chip, or chips, I should say. Oh wait, maybe not. See how it's coming off right there? Maybe, maybe, just maybe I can clean that up. I will try and I will do an update video <laughs> because the, these cars are fairly rare. You don't see these very often. I believe these were an exclusive to this five pack because I have not seen that anywhere else. All right, next one up, we've got us a Testarossa. My third Ferrari and first Testarossa. Yeah, see a lot of that's coming off. See how it cleaned up? Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to clean that up. Very awesome. Look at that awesome Ferrari Tempo, that is clean. This might be the cleanest one in the batch so far. Well, it definitely is, I should say. <laughs> yeah, see all that stuff is actually coming off. So maybe, just maybe, I can clean up that Tempo in the yellow F40. I love how these all have metal bases, nice hefty cars. <sighs> Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And the grand finale, my favorite, because you know me and my love affair with the Countach. Look at that. I have never seen this car for sale, ever. On all of my searching on eBay, I've never seen this car. Super clear windows, bright red interior, metallic silver paint, or gunmetal. Whatever you want to call it. Amazing. This is awesome. I cannot even tell you guys how happy I am. Look at this badass car. Look at all these awesome cars. I just want to look at this one again. I wonder, I just wonder if I can clean that up. Yeah, it definitely looks like a chip. That's such a bummer, because the rest of the car is so minty. Does not take away any of my happiness, to be honest with you. I am so stoked right now. This is such a cool five pack. And you know, it's funny, because I was looking for that new Exotics five pack when I found this one. You know the one I'm talking about with the purple Veneno and the blue Bugatti. I'll be picking that one up soon, but I just don't want to pay that $20 eBay price when I know they're going to be flooding the market here pretty soon here in my hometown. Just got to wait for them to arrive because, you know, I'd rather spend five bucks and, you know, 20 or 25, but they are selling. People are buying them. But anyway, look at these amazing cars one last time. I love collecting Hot Wheels, and if you like collecting Hot Wheels as much as I do, Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Again, my name is Jesse and I post videos every single day and I will see you tomorrow.